So I've been asked this quite often in the YouTube comments and also on Twitter on how you can activate your sum account. So after you've installed the sum map, did the setup, wrote down your secret numbers, which you should never lose. Otherwise, if you lose a phone, you can re-import the account and your funds might be lost. Um, right, and how you can activate it. So you can see here that right now the call to this account receiver, it doesn't matter what you write in there. I can see my public address. I can click on show account QR code. And there's a red, red label which says your account is not activated. So it also explains it there a little bit, but not where you can actually buy it. And what you have to do is now, you have to either ask a friend if he could send you some XOP in order to activate you, or you can buy it on an exchange. And in order to do that, it's quite simple. You just go to the internet, to Google, whatever, and to buy XOP. And then, the, then you can see that there's, for example, Binance, an, an exchange where you can buy it, Bitpanda, Kraken, and so on, Uphold, and whatever. Uh, so I myself use Binance quite often so right so just as an example binance if you don't have an account there yet then you would have to register and afterwards so you have to create an account then at with some way you have to add money so to your account balance and then you can buy xop and then at some place you can also withdraw it so it looks like that i try to make some screenshots of that to quickly show you that so if you're an account overview then there's a button called withdraw and if you click on withdraw, then you're withdrawing crypto, then you're selecting just XRP there, and then you enter, you paste the account address out of your sum wallet. So you can see here, this is the address which you want to activate, your R3, NS, whatever, you paste it there, and then you can define how much you want to withdraw. So right now I'm gonna just withdraw the minimum amount by uh, Binance, so 20 XRP, which I'm gonna do right now. And after I've done that, and after I've withdrawn it, then this account will be activated. So now I'm going to pause and do the withdrawal, and afterwards I'm going to show you the result. All right, and after the withdrawal was successful, you can see it. Uh, so if you withdraw 20 XOP, it suddenly shows 10 XOP. And you might wonder why does it show 10 instead of 20, or a, a 10 less than the amount you've sent. That's because SUM shows you here the available amount, so the amount you can send to other people right now. But the XRP Ledger has currently a account reserve. So whenever you activate an account, it at least needs 10 XRP, which are locked more or less. So they're not taken from your account. So if you, for example, would take that address and just copy it and would have a look at XRP scan, you can see that it's going to show 20. So we'll just paste the number now. Nope, I didn't do it correctly here. So I'm just going to try it again. So explain and oh, nope, request and copy. And right, okay, now it works perfect. And if we now have a look at this address here, you can see that XOP scan. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little as soon as it loads, or we can also use BitHomp in the meantime. All right, and you can see here that Binance uh, that this account is showing the so the transaction, the incoming transaction of 20 XOP, and the total balance of 20 XOP as well. So we can see here the balance, that is the reserve, 10 XOP, and available, I've got also 10 XOP available. And that is what SUM is initially showing, because that's the amount you can send, it's the most you can send. And uh, if you want a detailed uh, list, how much XOP you have available, then you can click on explain. So it shows that the balance in total is 20 XOP, the ba balance for spending is 10 XOP, and then you can see all the reserves. So right now, it's 10 are reserved in total, the wall reserve is 10 right now, and for example, if you would add a token, for example, Bitstamp US dollars, if you would add those, then the account reserve would be heightened by two XRP. So if I just sign it now, and if we have again a look at my available balance, you can see then that I've got 7.999988 or something like that uh, XRP available. And if you click on explain again, you can see now that the wall reserve is 10 XRP and the token I added is 2 XRP. So in total, 12 XRP are reserved. They are, like I said, not removed from your account. They're just reserved. So you can't spend them, but they're still on your account. They're not taken away. As soon as you remove the trust line, 2 XRP un are unlocked again. And yeah, that's how you can activate an account. That's all the info you need in regards to the account reserves. And right, and if you click on explain, then you get more information on how much you actually own. Alright then, that's it, thanks for watching, I hope it was helpful and see you in the next video.